Let's wrap up our series in 8D by looking at D7, D8, and the 8D report. Now in D7, Prevent Recurrence, there's two keys that must be understood. And the first one is the control continuum, and the second one is the three Ps of prevention. The control continuum says that low effort in designing or implementing a process control will likely result in low process control. High effort will result in high process control. For example, verbal instructions are fairly low effort, and although in some cases are effective, they really provide low, low process control, whereas mistake proofing or new designs require high effort but result in high process control. The three Ps of prevention, people, product, and process. Six steps are required in D7. Capture the root cause from the D6, Look up the root cause from the people, product, and process error list indicated down here. And this will uh, identify or suggest uh, preventions or corrections uh, with a, a number. We take those numbers and we look them up in a list of uh, preventions and their associated description. We then apply those once we've decided which ones to implement and then of course we document that. Prevention is likely to take more than a single corrective action and we want to test their effectiveness by implementing it, removing it, removing it uh, observing the uh, response, re-implementing it, removing it, and then finally implementing it again. And each time we want to observe that the problem disappears, then reappears, then disappears, etc. And of course we want to involve the people who work within the process uh, to help with this as well. Now moving over to DEA, congratulate team. This is another area that's often dismissed as trivial, uh, although it is very important. You know, in addition to pay received, uh, people really are motivated by being appreciated. You know, simple but genuine thank yous, recognition in front of their peers. They also want to feel like they're making a, a positive difference to the organization. Of course, uh, people feel good when they're asked for their input, uh, and then when you know uh, they're they have achieved difficult goals and when they're growing their knowledge and skills. You know, the most important thing management can do is ask, how, how can we help you solve this problem? And then, of course, follow up on the suggestions from the team itself. And then finally, we're going to look at the report. This is usually a one to two page summary of all of the activities that happen in the 8D. It's also considered trivial uh, if it's not required by the customer, although many customers do require only the 8D report. The Excel template will capture most of the relevant information and then of course a sign off is required by the organization, the, the, the uh, people in the organization that uh, are responsible for the AD. So we'll move over to Excel now and see how the remaining of the template uh, plays out. Notice that we're on the D7 tab, the prevent uh, recurrence, and here's the list of uh, errors that uh, we observed and uh, they're categorized by people. This, so these are people type areas, uh, errors, par uh, pardon me, misunderstanding, inexperience, uh, malfunction, forgetfulness, and that sort of thing. And then just scrolling down here you'll see other errors classified as process related errors and then product related errors. And so what we want to do is identify the, the uh, people errors. So it may be, uh, for example, misunderstanding, and if that's the case, then uh, suggest that prevention would be items 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And what I do then is come over here and look up items 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, verbal instructions, perhaps shadowing from a, a person who's familiar with the process, maybe some audio recordings or mentoring coaching and so forth. And we would repeat that process then for the, the uh, second P, the process part, and also the third P, which is the product part. And then the uh, preventive actions would be recorded here uh, in the uh, center of the document. And once that's, of course, then we implement. We do our test of implementation, removal, implementation, removal, and implementation, observing each time that the preventive action really does prevent the problem from reappearing. Once that's complete, we'll go to the next tab. And this one, very simply, the instruction share, uh, the team lead gathers the team together, and we have um, uh, management, uh, the team lead and management summarize the achievements, 
we want management to recognize the team members and then the 8D report is signed and so we want to describe those activities that are involved in the team congratulations. So we'll move now over to the 8D report and the 8D report is very simple. Now each time you see a zero in a cell uh, that means that information is being taken from other parts of the report and so most of this report will now have been filled out if you followed in the template D0 through D8. And the only thing you may have to add here that there's no other opportunity or place in the, in the template to add and that is a picture or a sketch of the failure and you can add that in this area. All other areas will be complete and the 8D report can then uh, be uh, signed off by the people in the organization responsible for root cause analysis activities and this report can then be uh, sent to the uh, customer uh, or the supplier as the uh, final confirmation of uh, root cause and preventive action having been done or more specifically the 8D process being completed. So this concludes our series on uh, videos for 8D. I would encourage you to uh, go to this, the website sixsigma.org. The template is there of course and uh, much other information and I, I would also encourage you to uh, look for uh, the eight disciplines problem solving methodology that's available on the website and uh, at, on Amazon as well. We thank you for watching this series and we'll see you next time.